Hello viewers, welcome to part 3 of our review for the Alps T950S. We'll be using this Bluetooth keyboard, so we'll be typing on the keyboard rather than on the screen keyboard, so you can see everything on the screen. Let me power up the tablet right now, and it comes up with the Samsung logo that we talked about previously. And what we've done is we've actually rooted the device so that we can have full access to the information. And when we rooted the device, it installed the super user app. And also, we've also installed a terminal app. Now, we rebooted the device because we need to be able to see the full system logs. And the system logs will run out. Let me open this thing quickly and jump over to apps. And here's a super user app that was installed after we rooted the device. And here's a terminal emulator. Let's start the terminal emulator. And we don't want the system logs to overwrite everything because it's in memory. So what we've done is here we've grabbed a terminal. This is like any other Linux machine. As you know, Android is nothing more than a fancy GUI with some nice fancy software on top of a Linux platform. So our goal right now is to actually look at the internals of the Linux operating system to figure out the true specs. So I've just entered super user mode with SU. And now I'm going to run the D message command and redirect that output to a file. And we're going to probably try to put it in the SD card folder. And let me see what would be a good name. Let's probably use probably use D message.txt would be probably a good name. And what I'm why I'm doing that is to be able to view the file at our leisurely pace. We don't want to be rushed uh, analyzing the data from the system log as it's and a race to analyze and before it scrolls off the memory. So now I am did more, which just basically shows one page at a time. So you can see more slash SD card slash D message dot text. It just shows the contents one page at a time. We see the machine is MT6582. That is the processor. And now let me look at it a little bit more detail, see if there's anything else. But you can see in the center of the screen, it's machine equals machine colon MT6582. This is the MediaTek MT6582 processor, which is quad core. And if we scroll, we can see that there's lots of other information about the hardware specifications for the tablet. And so again, machine is CPU is MediaTek MT6582. We'll have a link at the bottom of our video to give you uh, manufacturer specifications. This is truly a quad core processor. And the LCM resolution you can see over here. So this is the display resolution as detected by the Linux operating system. It's 800 by 1280, also the same as 1280 by 800. This is one quarter of the resolution compared to the uh, advertising, which is 2560 by 1600. And it also has other information if you wanted to take a look at, like display, get VRAM, size, boot, which is looks the memory size of the video. Uh, which is 14 megabytes of memory allocated to it. There's lots of other information. Let's scroll around and see what other nice information we can find on the tablet. So already we know that the CPU is not octa-core, because if it was octa-core, it would be MT6592. We saw MT6582. And the display resolution is much uh, less, so it's 1280 by 800. Now let's actually take a look at, see if we can find the memory for this tablet. Memory is advertised as 4 gigabytes, and here we see memory colon 960 megabyte, 25 megabytes. You add that, it's 985 megabytes, which is roughly 1 gigabyte. 1 gigabyte of real memory. So this is not the 4 gigabytes that was advertised on the seller's specifications. Now, we also want to see what we can do to confirm as much as we can the number of processors. So let's 
it says CPUs equals four over here, but uh, we'll actually see the CPU init routines and try to get a better idea how many cores it really saw. So let's scroll down a little bit more. We don't see it here yet. Let's scroll down some more. There it is. So it talks about main CPU and booting a slave CPU, CPU one. So that's two CPU cores are ready. We want to see if there should be a CPU 2. So you see CPU 1 here, and let's see if there's a CPU 2. And there it is, CPU 2. So there's three cores now, because 0, 1, 2, and CPU 3. So it's 0, 1, 2, 3. It's four cores, and it clearly says brought up four CPUs, meaning it only saw four CPU cores, total of four processors activated. Did not see eight. So it's not octa core it's truly quad core that explains the performance we saw when it was comparable to a samsung galaxy s3 in terms of performance there's probably some other juicy information here but i think we're probably done looking through it so we're gonna skim through here and we'll, we'll probably just set the tablet down and we're gonna actually look at the storage space of the tablet remember this tablet was advertised as having 64 gigabytes of storage. That's plenty amount of storage, but at a really good price if it was true. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to break out of this thing with Control C, and we're going to see if it has a DF minus H command. If not, and it doesn't seem like it, we'll try DF. And there it is. This is the storage space as seen by the Linux operating system. And we can see that. If you look near the bottom of the screen, st slash storage slash SD card zero is allocated 12.5 gigs. And as you look up the screen a little bit in the size column, you see that there's several mount points. Mount secure, mount ASEC, mount OBB. These add up. And slash system slash data, you need to add these all up. And when you do, space looks like it is really around 16 gigabytes 16 gigabytes of storage definitely not 64 gigabytes of storage so the specifications are also not correct for storage next we want to take a look at the file that we've mentioned before that has been used in benchmarks and also by the android system in about tablet where it showed us erroneous data that the manufacturer wanted us to see and we've entered the slash system folder cd slash system and there's a file that has all the contents it's a text file you can change the contents of it and edit it and put whatever values you want in it and it, it will get displayed in benchmarks and uh, android os so let's see it should be in the system folder and if we take a look at it there it is, build.prop, and we're going to just more the build.prop file so we can see one page at a time. And if we first look at this thing, we see that it has lots of information. This is entered and created by the manufacturer, test the model T950S. It says RO build version SDK is 19. This is something that manufacturer cannot change without causing compatibility issues. and that is needed. The version was 4.4.2. And as we scroll down, we see that there's lots of other information. You see the LCM info, which they wanted us to believe is 2560 by 1600 IPS, where there's that string. It is clearly visible in this file. There's other information such as ROM size is equal to 64, trying to imply 64 gigs of storage when it's only 16. RAM size is equal to 4 gigs, or that's what they want us to believe when it's really only 1 gig. CPU info equals 8 to try to imply there's 8 cores when there are really only 4. And also you see the Android version, the 4.5.3, which is not a real Android version. We'll also be looking at the camera uh, in a little detail to show you what the specifications are. Uh, it's not shown over here unless it's further in the, down in the file. Here's a CPU kernel MT6592 that's trying to fool you that into believing the processor is a MT6592 when 
the Linux kernel detected is a 6582. So this is very good information to know that benchmark programs that try to give this file some credibility could be a problem if the manufacturer wanted to fool the benchmark program. So next, we want to show you a little bit about the apps that were installed. So when we rooted the tablet, it installed the super user app. And, and on the right hand side, the terminal emulator is a freebie app you can get written by a third party from the Google Play Store. You just download it. So when we root it, we installed the terminal emulator and that's how we were able to analyze the specifications for the tablet. Now we want to actually take a look at the camera. Remember, keep in mind, there's a front and rear camera. We, what we're going to do first is look at the rear camera. And there's a settings in the lower right-hand corner. Hit the settings. And there's, we tap the camera icon. And we're looking for picture size. Picture size will tell us the maximum resolution we can get on the camera. And there it is, 4 megapixels. It is selected at the max, which is 4 megapixels. So we know the rear camera can only take up to 4 megapixel images. Now we'll do it again. This time we'll switch the camera. We'll tap the camera switch icon. So now we get the front camera. And we'll also tap the camera icon here to get camera settings. And we're looking for picture size. It says 2 megapixels. And there's nothing higher than 2 megapixels. VGA and QVGA are lower resolution. So we see that the true specifications are Alps T950S. CPU is a MediaTek MT6582 as proven in the Linux operating system. All this information. Memory is 1 gigabyte. Display is 1280 by 800. Storage is 16 gigabytes. And the front and rear cameras are 2 megapixel and 4 megapixel respectively. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If so, please tap the thumbs up. We'll be having more great videos to come. Please subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.